that... that won't work. We need to get to California right away and see if Whitney's all right. Well, maybe I'll call and see if we can get a charter. Okay. Eve, what's wrong? Julian, we need to get out to California to see Whitney, and the first time that we can get a reservation is tomorrow night. Don't worry, I'll... I'll take you to L.A. on my jet. You what? I cannot believe what I just heard. What, you won't let me use your precious little jet, but you offered it to her? What is going on here? Chad left me. He went back to Latoya uh, to be with his wife. No, no, he hasn't. He loves you, honey. No, honey. If, if he loved me, then why didn't he tell me that he was ever married before? Because Whitney, huh? he, he said he thought this woman, Latoya, had filed the divorce papers years ago. He had no idea that they were still married. Well, he is. And now he's left somewhere right after I've been shot. I, I mean, why? Why would he do that? Where, where could he possibly go? Fox? What? Look, he, he talked to you right before he left, right? I, I mean, did he tell you anything about where he was going? Anything at all? Um, I really can't say. You can't or you won't. He did tell you something, didn't he? Please, Fox, just tell me, okay? He went to go be with Latoya, didn't he? Well, um, Whitney, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I, th I think he did go to see Latoya, yeah. Oh my God, I knew it. I've lost him. Oh, my God. Not used to that kind of heat from your little uptown girl, Whitney, are you, Chad? You missed me, I can tell. You're right. I have missed you, Latoya. Mm -hmm. That little kiss is just a reminder of what we used to have together. I can do a whole lot better than that. Mm -hmm. I bet you can. You know I can. And we can have it all back again if you want it. All I have to do is say so. Say you want me. I want you. Got it, baby. Oh, pipe down! Hey, dear. Don't make the boys in the basement any angrier than they already are. Well, I think it's great that Sheridan's starting to remember what happened to her. And I hope it'll help her get her baby back. Gosh, I know how I'd feel if someone took my baby away from me. You know, I think you'd understand that, Tabitha, now that you're a mother. I understand obeying my superiors or else being shipped off to a very toasty eternity. That's why you have to promise me, my little Endora. If anything ever happens to your mummy, you will keep up my bad work. Keep destroying true love and happiness. <gasps> Tear Sheridan and Louise apart, promise me, little one. Is that you? Sheridan, are you sure? Is this the woman who kidnapped you? Sheridan, would you say something? Oh, Louise, what if Eve was right? What if seeing this picture has traumatized her and damaged her recovery? Sheridan, are you all right? <laughs> the baby's here. Oh. oh. Thank you, oh. God. Come on, come on. Oh, my baby. <laughs> oh, my baby, please. Let me hold my baby. It's not your baby. Not anymore. This is her. This is the woman that held me captive. She took my baby. This is her. Thank God you remember. <laughs> Wait, you call for help. Oh, please. 
I know you're too crazy. She'll tell him the baby isn't mine, that it's Sheridan's, that we kidnapped her and put her in the pit. He'll kill me for sure. Well, maybe, maybe not. But Charlie will definitely be killing you. Kill all of us. No, 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 she won't. She's too crazy about me. This is all talk. Oh. She's not going to want to really hurt me, Mother. my mind. The ball's getting weird again. Good. That means there's pain and suffering for someone in harmony. How can you be so mean, so cruel? I'm a witch, Kay. That's part of the job description. I wasn't put here to spread goodwill and cheer. I am here to do the bidding of the boys in the basement. And they positively hate happiness and light. They like dark, foreboding, depressing. But what about love? What about it? Well, love brings true happiness. Oh, oh yes, yes. You're a shining example of that. Like your love for Miguel has made you deliriously happy. I don't think so. Oh, think about it. All it's brought you is, is misery and grief. Love is for sissies. Just makes you weak and stupid. Don't waste your time on it. It'll just bring you misery and heartache. So are you sure that this is the woman? Yes. Well, maybe you just want her baby back so bad that you want this to be the woman. No, I'm positive. This is her. She's the one that helped me captive. I would know this face anywhere. She took my baby. Open its door now! So much for you sweet talking the nut job out of killing us. Precious, don't start getting all weepy on us. Those hats are a dime a dozen. We'll get you another one, okay? We won't be alive to get her another one unless you make that call. Would you please get on the no. phone? Stay away from that phone. What? What, we were supposed to, to stand here and just wait for that nut job to be putting that foot-long knife of hers in the door? Look, if Louise or anyone else sees Charlie in that state, she's going to tell them about us kidnapping Sheridan. Us! Holding a prisoner, stealing the baby. Wait, 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 wait. What is this business about us precious? And I had absolutely nothing to do with your plan. Oh, you, you stood there and did nothing. Oh, because you and Charlie threatened to kill us. I won't have a chance with Louise. She'll take him and my baby. No, her baby. Sheridan is the mother. I can't risk it. Oh, what is it you do not understand about impalement, Beth? The knife goes in. You're, there's pain, and then you die. Huh? You want that? Just figure out another way out of here so Charlie doesn't see us. How? Okay, the window. Uh. Uh. 
Ow! It's stuck! What's wrong with it? Paint! I've had it painted at least a dozen times! Last time that window was open was when Bush Sr. was president! Oh, damn it! I tut, tut, tut! None of that language in front of the baby for having sex! Now, would you please just get on that phone? Oh, shh! Shh! I'm here, Charlie, out there. Huh? She, she probably realized she can't get to us. She gave up. She cleared out. That's it. She's, she's gone. Oh, yeah, she's real brave when she doesn't have that stupid knife in her hand, huh? I knew it. I knew it. Chad left me and went back to Latoya. Oh, my God. What's wrong? You told Whitney that Chad went back to Latoya. That's what's wrong. Yeah, well, he did. Fuck, she knew it would upset her, and now she's completely got the wrong idea. She thinks that he went back to her. Well, better that she thinks that than to know that Chad went off to track down Latoya. You know, Chad didn't want Whitney to know that Latoya shot her, okay? You should have just stayed out of it. I mean, I mean, I don't understand this. I mean, I've never known you to be close to anyone. Why are you getting so involved with this Chad and Whitney thing? Because they're my friends, Ethan, that's why. I mean, Whitney was just shot, and Chad left instead of staying here to take care of her, and I'm not gonna lie to her. No, you picked a hell of a time to start telling the truth. He left me for the Toya. No. Oh, my God, I can't believe this is no. happening. Whitney, you've got it all wrong. Okay? No, no. Chad went to be with her. Fox just told us. Please relax for me. <laughs> He's still in love with her. That's why he never got a divorce. No, no, he loves you. No, okay. I was stupid because I really thought that he loved me. He does, I, Whitney. Then why did he leave me to go be with her? <laughs> well, he probably went to find her to turn her into the police. The police? Why? Oh. Latoya's the one who shot me. Wow. What'd you stop for? Well, you know me. I like to take my time. <laughs> the man with the slow hands. Remember I used to call you that? Yeah. We were so good together. We could have it all back again. Even better. Well, I hope so. I'm just worried about the police, Latoya. I mean, they don't just have the videotape to use against you. They got the bullet. The bullet? That means that they can... Trace it. Show that it came from the gun that you used to shoot Whitney. That's right. And then they're going to track you down, arrest you, and you'll go to prison for years. Man. And we won't be able to be together. I never thought about that. There's a lot of things you got to think about, baby. Like, like getting rid of that gun. That's number one. Dump it. Yeah. Throw the damn thing in the river. Right. Gotta do that. Yeah. So, okay. just give me the gun, all right? I'll take care of it for you. What's going on? Uh, would you excuse us, please, for just, just a moment? Thank you. Eve, hey, what's going on? Latisi, I don't want you to get upset. Oh, but why would he get upset? I think it's a wonderful offer. What offer? Liz, would you please Alien let me... Alien has offered to take Eve and you to Los Angeles on his private jet. No. N no way. That's not going to happen. Now, wait a minute, TC. No, I'm not accepting anything from Julian Crane. All right. What, did you get us a charter? No. It cost $60,000. What? Are you kidding? I wish I was, and we, we sure can't afford that. Well, then we have to take Julian up on his offer. No! Okay. If we don't, then we will have to wait till tomorrow night to get a flight to Los Angeles. Our daughter has been shot, T.C. We need to get out of there right away, and, and the Crane jet is the quickest way. Eve, I will not accept anything from Julian Crane, and neither will you, and that's final. I have never felt more humiliated. Oh. For pity's sake, Rebecca. Well, how 
dare you offer the jet to Eve and TC when you refused me? What? Whitney has been shot. Their child is in the hospital. Yeah, well, so is mine. Look, and their daughter didn't die from being shot. She's alive, but my granddaughter is dead. I'm... You know, I begged you to take me to California, and you just flat out refused. But when Eve and TC want to go, you, ju you jumped at it. What is going on here? I don't care what you say, Tabitha. I can't imagine spending my life without love. Well, you better start imagining. Then what would be the point of living? Well, there's plenty of other things to live for besides love. Name one. Well, you foolish mortals like money, don't you? And then there's fame and desire. None of those things even matter without someone to share them with. Christian, who wants to go through life with money or fame if you're all alone? Hmm. Being alone is highly underrated, believe me. If you're alone, nobody can hurt you. If you love somebody, then you bear your soul to them. You give them a part of yourself, a piece of your heart. You trust them never to hurt you, and then... and then something happens one day, and... it's over. They leave you, and... and you're left with nothing. You're talking about Timmy, aren't you? No. I don't know what you mean. That's why you imagine him standing here in the attic. You really loved him, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you one thing for certain. I'll never love anyone again. <laughs> Liar. You love Endora. Don't try to deny it. Well, now that we know this woman kidnapped you, we just have to figure out who the hell she is. And motive. Why would she want to harm Sheridan, steal her baby? I have no idea. You never saw her before that night on the wharf? Not that I can remember, no. Well, what did she say to you? She just rambled on so much. About what? It, she was carrying on about how I was somehow hurting this friend of hers. Friend? What friend? I don't know. I, I, when I asked her who her friend was, she said that it didn't matter. But obviously it did because she's furious with me. Furious enough to kidnap you and steal the baby. Well, it's please, we have to find her. We will. Don't worry, I've already got APBs out. Uh, I've got people monitoring the transportation hubs, and I've got a search team blanketing the entire town. Why don't I go check things out, see if there's any new developments? That's a good idea. I'm sure, don't you worry, all right? And we're gonna find this woman, and we're gonna get her baby back. Is the one who shot me? Yes. Oh, why didn't anyone tell me this? Chad didn't want you to know. He didn't want to upset you. But it's better for you to know the truth than think that Chad wants to be with Latoya. Oh my god. Oh my god, of course. I mean, now it all makes perfect sense. Chad didn't run out on me. He probably went to go find Latoya to get revenge for what she did to me. Oh my God, you guys, what if she tries to shoot him too? <laughs> what are you doing? Why did you tell Whitney that Latoya shot her? You're just upsetting her. No, no, no. 
It would upset her a lot more for her to think that the man that she's in love with is sneaking around behind her back. That's not the point. No, that's exactly the point, okay? She had to know the truth. You guys, you guys have got to go help Chad. He could be in real danger right now. Fox, did Chad tell you where the toy's place was? Nope. Whitney, do you have any idea where she lives? No. I have no clue. Chad did this for me. If anything happens to him... You guys, please. We have to help him, okay? So, um, give me the gun. I'll take care of it for you. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it later. First things first. But the police could be running ballistics tests right now. The sooner we get rid of it, the sooner we can be together. All in good time. I'm gonna feel the slow hands on me first. What the hell are you doing? It's over, Latoya. You come with me. I asked you to take me to Los Angeles and you refused. But when then Dr. Eve, I mean, you couldn't say yes fast enough. What is it? What? Oh. Oh, or maybe it's her daughter you're so concerned about, huh? Whitney. What? So which is it, Julian, huh? Which one do you have the hots for? This is working out even better than I dreamed. Rebecca is on to Julian. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before the truth explodes in everyone's face. You see, I'm begging you to reconsider. And the fastest way to get to Whitney is to take Julian up on his offer. Please, TC, can't you just put aside your hatred of the Cranes for one day? Just one day for our daughter. All right, Eve. I will accept Julian's offer. Thank you. Thank you, TC. I'm so relieved. Okay, well, let's tell Julian. <clears throat> Julian, we are so very grateful for your kind offer, and and we'd like to take you up on it. Oh, oh well, really, well, I'm glad. Yes, you see, I know how I would feel if it were my child, I, so far away and not knowing how she was. I hope we're not inconveniencing you. Oh, not at all. I was headed out there anyway. Are you were not. You were going to Atlanta. Well, but you see, we have to go see Gwen, so now this all works out. Thank you, Julian. Oh, well, I'm very happy to help. Well, T.C. and I will we'll go home and, and get packed. All right, when you arrive at the airport, we'll take off. Thank you again, Julian. I don't know what's going on here, but I fully intend to find out. Julian, I am going to help Pookie get at the truth. You're going to do absolutely nothing. Want to bet? Oh, and by the way, I'll be hitching a ride to Los Angeles on your jet. <laughs> no, you won't. Hmm. Oh, yes, I will. Unless, of course, you want me to go to TC right now and tell him the truth about you and Eve. I'll be on that jet. There's nothing for you out there wrong again, Julian. I want to be there when T.C. walks into that hospital room and sees his daughter laid up with a gunshot wound because of her mother. My sister's world is going to fall apart. And I want a front row seat when it does.
and Dora. <sighs> I wish you'd known Timmy. He would have loved you. Well, then Timmy loved everyone. <laughs> I remember his sweet little face. His bubbly. Princess. Timmy. We finally have our first real lead since you were kidnapped. That woman on the... She must have taken our baby, too. Just pray that she's still in harmony. Well, don't you worry. I'm gonna hunt her down no matter where she is. I hope I'm not imagining things. But I really feel like my baby's still close by. And the baby must still be here. A mother senses these kinds of things. Don't you worry, Sharon. We're gonna get our baby back. I called into the station. Search teams from two more counties have volunteered. There'll be even more people looking for that woman. That's great news. All we need is one lead, one sighting. We're gonna get our baby. Chop through the door and the furniture. 
furniture. You'll see, she'll stop in a second. <laughs> Again, it'll be too soon. Honey, I know you're upset, but we are going to see Whitney. Yeah, it's the only reason I set foot on this damn plane. Well, I'm very grateful that you changed your mind. I mean, just think, in a few hours, we'll be holding our daughter in our arms. Hello, everyone. What are you doing here? Well, I would go to L.A. and see Whitney, too. The more people to support her, the better, right? I've gotten so close to her these last few months, and I mentioned it to Julian, and he graciously offered to allow me to tag along. And did he? <laughs> I'm sure there's something I can do to help you with Whitney. You don't want to help our daughter. You just want to help yourself to my husband. Buckle up. Liz here. She wanted to come along for Whitney, too. We're about to taxi for takeoff. Fasten your seatbelts, please. All right, Julian, you just start talking. When I first asked you to use this jet, you refused. But you jumped at the chance to help Eve. And now Liz is coming along? What is going on here? Look, you either tell me the truth, or I'm going to start snooping around until I embarrass everybody here. Now, which one of these uh, ladies is her mystery lover? Well, well, well. With good old Rebecca on my side, I can't lose. Yeah, she's just the one to help me get the truth out. Okay, Chad must have gone to confront LaToya for shooting me. Now, as far as I know, LaToya hangs out with Puff Dog. Now, he is her cousin, so she knows that he is going to protect her no matter what. So... Chad could be in way over his head, you guys. Please, please, if you can try to help him. Chad is no match for a bunch of guys with, with, with guns. All right. Please. Don't worry about it. Okay, Fox and I are on our way. We're going to find out where this uh, puff dog lives, and we're going to take it from there. Okay. okay. No, uh, no, are you guys crazy? You cannot go up against someone like a puff dog, all right? It's too dangerous. It's like Whitney said. He and, and his friends, they probably have guns. Now, if you do this... You could both be killed. So I can't let you go. I can't. The hell's going on? You tricked me? You're damn right I did. See, I need a proof of what you did. What'd she do? She tried to kill Whitney with this gun. Is that your toy? She tried to shoot that girl? Hell no. She's lying. But I lied to you, cuz. Well. I saw her on the hospital security tape. You're going down for this, LaToya. No way. Puff Dog is going to make sure that doesn't happen like he always does. That's right. No, not this time. Now, I got you cold, so your prints are all over this gun. And the bullet they dug out of Whitney's going to match it. Your prints are all over the gun now, too. Don't you ever watch Law & Order? Because if you did, you'd know if you ever cleaned this gun or loaded it, your fingerprints would be all over the clip and the bullets. And that's what the cops look for. Besides, I got an alibi. Yeah, but that's my gun. Damn right it is. And it's not registered. So if I go down, you go down too. As long as the cops bag you, Latoya, that's all I care about. So I'm gonna call them and get them over here now. You're gonna just stand there, cuz? Don't let them call the cops on me. Help me, cuz. Come on, Chad. Put the phone down. You know I can't let you turn her in. I mean, so maybe you don't love Toy anymore. She's my favorite cousin. My mom would be all kinds of mad if I let you give her over. You can't stop me, Puff Dog, so don't try it. Right, Latoya tried to kill the woman I love, and she's gonna pay for it. Big time. Why don't you check that, Ace? You got it all wrong. See, you're the one who's gonna pay. You're a dead man. Put the phone down now. Time for nighty-night, sweetheart. 
And I told Kay I don't believe in love. It's not really true. Because I love you, Indora. I love you with all my heart. And I will do everything in my power to protect you and keep you safe. I won't lose you the way I lost my Timmy. Thank you, Timmy. Thank you. woman has my baby. Please, God, we have to find her. Sure, you will, okay? Lopez Fitzgerald. Who is this me? Um, you gotta come over here and save me. Beth, calm down. What's going on? She's here. She's... Get it out! That, 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 that crazy woman, she's... Um, the one that hangs on in the wharf that night, and then the sketch, she's here, she's trying to kill me and take our baby. We got her. We got her.